Forex crisis pushing marketers to propose 720 naira a litre of fuel and the suspension of fuel imports. But Labour says any further increase in fuel price will lead to total shutdown. We'll be taking a look at this as our first hot topic. And experts are warning that the CBN Naira float may crash in a short time, even as Tinubu meets with the CBN governor to seek urgent intervention to stabilize the Naira and improve liquidity in the market. That's our second hot topic. We'll be taking a look at the front pages of some national dailies this morning on Off the Press, as we often do. And on Tuesday, Chris Kendawondo will be joining us as our analyst. Well, good morning and welcome to Tuesday edition of The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Maureen menon -Wizigwe. Hope you've gotten out well and you're feeling strong. Well, let's go straight to our very first stop trending. Soldiers beat up Lasma officer at the Ojota axis of Lagos. Soldiers in the early hours on Monday at Ojota area of Lagos State pounced on one of the Lagos State Traffic Management Authority officers. They're called Lasma and beating him to stupor over a yet-to-be-determined traffic offence. The incident, according to an eyewitness, happened uh, at 8, 8 a.m. when soldiers numbering eight got hold of the Lasma officer and beat him for several minutes. Well, if you saw that video, you wouldn't like what you see there. Well, in the video that has gone viral, the soldiers were seen beating up the Lasma officer as he begged profusely to be left alone. One of the attackers was seen battering the officer to the ground as other Lasma officers fled the scene. It was gathered that the action was in retaliation over an incident where Lasma officers were alleged to have beaten up a soldier in the same Ojota area last week. Well, the invading soldiers armed with guns descended on the officer with punches and planks before disappearing from the scene. The victim was immediately rushed to a nearby hospital for treatment. Very sad incident there. The general manager of LASMA, Mr. Bolaji Oregba, through the director of operations, Mr. Peter A, confirmed the incident and stated that the incident had been reported to the high authorities of the army with an intervention already taking place. Very sad one there. Well, second top trending. Air Force helicopter crashes in Niger, in Niger State, beg your pardon, an aircraft belonging to the Nigerian Air Force has crashed in Niger State. The ill-fated aircraft was set to be heading to Kaduna State on Monday when the unfortunate incident happened. In a statement, the Director of Public Relations and Information of the Force, Air Commodore Edward Gakwet, said the aircraft crashed in a village in Shiroro local government area of Niger State. And according to him, the aircraft, an MI-171 helicopter which departed Zungeru Primary School en route Kaduna on a casualty evacuation mission, was later discovered to have crashed on August 14 of this year at about 11 p.m. in Shukuba village in Niger State. Gakwet said efforts were ongoing to rescue the pilots and passengers on board while preliminary investigations had commenced to determine the probable cause of the crash. The development comes exactly a month after a Nigerian Air Force FT-7N1 trainer aircraft crashed in Makredi, the Benue State capital. Two pilots on board the aircraft survived the crash. Well, those are top trending this morning, two of them, very, very shocking, the first, and also equally shocking and sad, the second. We'll take a break now and come back with Off the Press. Just stay with us. <laughs> 